Hello, my friends. Today we're going to discuss Travex wallets, the best and the worst, in my opinion. Alright, my friends, it's very simple, it's very down, it's very direct. I bought the Travex Ascent before I moved out to Arizona so I could have a new wallet to travel with, new wallet, new things, you know, new life, whatever, however you want to say that. And I picked up the Ascent and I absolutely love it. I loved it so much, I got a hold of Travex and they had a couple of deals going on and I picked up three other wallets. Now these were not three at the same time. I picked them up individually as we were going through. I wanted to get through their line and see if I could find a better wallet than this one here, than the Ascent, and I have failed miserably. Now you guys can go over to EDC around the world and see these reviews up on that site because it's just the way to do it. But we're gonna get into these very quickly, very quickly. All right, so the first one that I picked up was the Travex Element Wallet, and this one was the one that I was looking at, and I wanted to get above and beyond this one, but this one was on sale when I went to the website, and I was like, well, you know, for like 50 bucks, I could pick this up and check it out and see if I like it. This one was like 60 or 70 at a time, and the money talked. So I picked this one up, and this, this wallet is freaking epic. This is the one I want first. If I had bought this one first, I would have never picked this one up. I would have never done business with Travex again because this one just has features on it that turned me off. The first big thing was this button here on the front. This snap button is not a snap. It is a grommet hole and a rivet stance. And that's how they get them to close. It literally can pop off. I, I, I had this thing popping off last night and I, I just, I don't want to lose my cards out of there. I mean, that's, that, that's a huge thing for me. And the second thing was, in order to form fit your cards in there, you need to water form this to fit your cards. This one you did not. This one I just put my cards in it and they fit in there, they don't fall out. This one is the opposite. And I did not like that at all. So the element would have turned me off from Tradex completely. However, that's not to say that you guys wouldn't like this wallet, just to say that I didn't. The next one in the bunch, because I wanted to have something that was multi-purpose, was the Summit wallet complete with notebook and pen. This has got a little Fisher Space pen in here as well as a notebook in the back and it was like an all-in-one wallet. You guys can go and see uh, Nick's review of this on his GearNut channel uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just mimic some of the things that he said. This dog ears when you're trying to take it out in and out of your pocket and makes for a cheap leather feel and the notebook does not stay in. It just pops out like very easily, like at least they could have made a slit in the leather that you put it in there so it didn't fall out. I don't know how they can improve this, but they definitely need to improve this because if I had bought this one first, I would have not ever looked back at Travex, ever. And then the Axis Wallet, and the Axis Wallet is kind of, it's kind of good actually. It's a nice uh, black on black wallet. Now here's my pet peeve about this. I ordered the toxic green zombie one where all the metal should have been toxic green zombie with the black and they sent me the wrong one. That speaks to me tremendously about the company. I'm an ongoing customer and you sent me the wrong one and then I sent you an email and it took three days for Trivex to get back to me just to tell me, hey, we want to definitely help you out but you got to send it back to us and then we'll send out the new one. What? No, 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 that's not how it works. That is not how it works. So guys, out of the three wallets that I picked up recently, not one of them compares to the Ascent. The Ascent is absolutely wonderfully made. Leather on steel, it is sewn in to the, to the steel and it's riveted at the bottom for, for extra strength. It just works flawlessly. It's an awesome, awesome wallet. These three, in my opinion, miss the boat dramatically. They're just, they're not junk. They're perfect for somebody out there. But for me, they were not perfect. All right, guys, so these are great wallets. They're well made. They're made in the USA, but they do not beat the Travax Ascent. Now, it's the same company. The quality 
And this is like 5,000%. It's absolutely astonishing. These quality drops down to under 100%. And I'm just saying that because it's my honest opinion for me, maybe for you guys it would be different, but as for me right now, the Ascent has not been beat. Travex does have some other uh, wallets that I need to get into and check out, and I'm going to be doing that soon and trying to find one to beat the Ascent, but so far I'm sold on the Ascent. Sorry Travex, you're doing a good job, but you gotta up the ante, you gotta do better. So my friends, as always, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until we meet again.